All right, y'all, I have some ramen noodles here. I have six packages. All right, I bought this beef kind. It's a delicious hack you can make for dinner. All right. I don't know if y'all have ever been to like a ramen restaurant, but they all have, they usually have eggs in them. Well, it's usually sometimes, I don't know. So whatever, this is how I like to make my ramen, all right? Just like that. So now we need some liquid to cook these noodles, all right? So we're gonna cover this with a vegetable broth or chicken broth or beef, whatever you have, all right? So I like to put enough liquid where it uh, just about covers the noodles. So we probably gonna need a little more than this. All right. And this is one of those recipes, y'all, that I just like eyeball, all right? So it depends on how many people I'm feeding and what's, what else is going on, but uh, yeah, I just like to eyeball it. So we're gonna fill this, let's see. Yep, I'm gonna just about cover the ramen. If it's a little liquidy after it's done, that's totally fine. I'd rather, rather have it be liquidy than dry. All right, that, that's perfect, just like that. All right, y'all, so next what we're gonna add here, I'm gonna get a little handful of spinach. Oh, actually, before we do that, sorry. <laughs> We gotta take the seasoning that came with the ramen. So I have this uh, beef, so we're just gonna sprinkle this all over. And you know what, this is great because you don't have to season anything else. You just have it all right here. So I'm using all six, all right? It's gonna be delicious. All right, look at that. And we don't even need to mix it. Okay, let's not get the package in there though. We don't wanna eat that. I don't think those are edible. All right, now we're taking our spinach right on top. Right on top. I'm just gonna, you know, Rip it up like so, put a nice layer of spinach. So this is kind of healthy dish too. All right, y'all, we got some fresh vegetables. Um, I also have here some orange bell peppers. I cut these up yesterday. I was eating them as a snack and I didn't finish them. So guess what? They going in my ramen. So this dish is fun, y'all, because like I said, you can put whatever you'd like in here. Whatever you have left over in your fridge, whatever kind of vegetables you like, you can leave the spinach out. And you know what, y'all? I have a question. Some of y'all be giving me a hard time about my spinach that you take off the stems. Are you supposed to do that? Because guess what? I always eat the stems. I'm all right. I mean, nothing ever happened to me for eating spinach stems. Maybe it just made me strong, stronger like Papa. But uh, yeah, someone explain that to me because I don't get it. All right, let's just do a little bit more. This looks real good. Okay, look at this, y'all. I left a sticker on one. Let's, let's not eat that one. But I heard those stickers are edible. Someone told me that. Is that true? Like if I eat one, I'd be all right. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Okay, enough babbling. Babble, that's all I do is talk. All right, that looks real good, y'all. That looks real good. All right, so next what we gonna do here, I know this seems weird, but I have this uh, this uh, white American cheese. It's just the Kraft con, and I kinda cut it in these little squares. Um, American cheese on ramen is real good, y'all. So guess what? We're gonna line up some American cheese squares just like this. And you know what? I don't know why I cut them small. I could have left them big, but all right, it's okay, it looks pretty. That's what's important. We have a beautiful, colorful dish, delicious ramen, and uh, yeah, that's about it, y'all. I'm gonna use all this, though. All right, y'all, so, uh, okay, this looks real pretty. I just wanna stop here, but we need more cheese, so I'm gonna add more squares. I'm gonna finish putting my cheese squares on, y'all, and then uh, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes, and I'm so excited for y'all to see this delicious ramen. All right, y'all, here we have that ramen. That baked ramen we did, remember we used six packages of ramen noodles, some vegetables, some cheese, some seasoning from the ramen, and uh, eggs. I forgot what else, but uh, let's have some. So uh, let's see, Ooh, this is gonna be delicious, y'all. Look at these ramen noodles, nicely cooked and soft. I gotta make sure I get some of the egg too. You, you, you need to have egg with ramen. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. The yolk is perfect, it's like over medium. It's exactly what we want, y'all. I'm so excited. This smells so good. These orange bell peppers smell real good, y'all. So I forgot if I put chicken in here. I don't think we did. It's beef flavored ramen, but yeah, there's no meat. And we just put some vegetables, some white American cheese, some eggs. So I guess, I guess, yeah, it's not vegetarian. So never mind. But I mean, it's kind of healthy. I don't know. You get some vegetables, some egg, some ramen. It's still hot, y'all. I took this out of the oven like 30 minutes ago. Why is it still steaming? It smells so good. Oh, I need, I need a little piece of this pepper on here too. Yes, yeah, so I'm using my hands. Glove police, I know you're after me, but I'm faster than y'all. I will always get away. Time to taste. Okay. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is so good. Y'all have to try this. 